and welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Let me ask you something here. Let me ask you a, little, a personal question. Everybody feeling good? Well, clearly, clearly you do not work in the White House because it's Wednesday, and you know what they call that at the White House? We are so humped today. Let me explain to you uh, why. Let me just remind you, recap the last couple of days. You know the whole Trump campaign colluded with Russia to influence our election and the didn't happen, don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> well, turns out it did and they do because <laughs> yesterday, Donald Trump Jr. released emails explicitly detailing an invitation by the Russian government to collude and his enthusiastic acceptance, quote, I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, Don, not as much as I do. <laughs> oh, delicious. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, now listen, just to give you. Okay, so that was yesterday. That was yesterday. We've had a full news cycle to give you a sense of the fallout. Let me present you with a bouquet of early blooming headlines. The White House is paralyzed. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Trump Care does not cover that. <laughs> Let's see another one. Ready? Here we go. Here's another headline. The White House is facing a Category 5 hurricane. <laughs> and remember, Republican presidents have a spotty track record when it comes to dealing with hurricanes. <laughs> but... Hey. Obviously, you know obviously, yeah. that's not fair. Those were the Washington Post and CNN. How about hearing from someone on their side? Try the New York Post. Donald Trump Jr. is an idiot. <laughs> yes. Yes. And put it on down that <laughs> yes. yes. Keep in mind, keep this in mind, and I mean this, they're defending him. Because <laughs> the alternative to idiot is inmate. And it's hard to argue that point. Donald Trump Jr., is quickly rising through the ranks of America's most embarrassing Donald Trumps. <laughs> Things are so bad. Things are so bad. Check out this tweet of staffers and White House visitors placing their hands on President Trump <laughs> and praying for him today. Okay? Either that, either that, or they're playing hands on a soft body. <laughs> Whoever keeps their hand the longest gets to fire Robert Mueller. So, with his agenda in tatters, with his White House paralyzed, in turmoil, with his family in disgrace, the president did the right thing and headed to France tonight. <laughs> France, I mean, it's understandable. That's his safe space. Trump's like Jerry Lewis over there. In that, he seems like an idiot. <laughs> because this proof of the Trump campaign's collusion may have cost the president something he loves even more than his son. It's going to cost him his favorite catchphrase. Because last night, one White House advisor admitted, the Russia story will get worse and worse, and you can't just really say anymore, fake news. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sure. You can't. You just can't say it anymore. Can't say it. I know how Donald Trump's going to feel about that. Sad. <laughs> so tonight... We bid a fond farewell. We are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. You notice now they're using, everybody's using the word fake news. Where did you hear it first, folks? It's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. Fake news. CNN, fake. <laughs> Whoops, the camera just went off. So, <laughs> I'm crying fake tears. <laughs> so, pretty much everybody agrees uh, Trump Jr. was dumb to tweet this stuff. And the smart thing to do would be just to shut up. So, last night he went on Fox News. <laughs> and explained why he's not responsible for any of this. Someone sent me an email. I can't help what someone sends me. 
Yes. He can't help. He has to do whatever it says in an email. That's why his apartment is full of Nigerian princes and boner pills. <laughs> You're gonna want to keep them apart. You're gonna want to keep those two, keep those two apart. Hey, hey. Plus, this was way last summer. It was a totally different time. This is pre like Russia fever. This is pre Russia mania. You know, this was 13 months ago. Before I think the rest of the world was uh, talking about that. Yeah. He colluded with the Russians before people were talking about Russian collusion. Okay? That's like saying, yeah, I fired a gun at that guy, but that was before everyone was talking about this whole murder trial. <laughs> All right? How did I know? I, what, what, what am I supposed to... Ah. Besides, I mean, the meeting was a dud. It was literally just a wasted 20 minutes, which was a shame. Yeah, it was all in his Yelp review. One star did not deliver treason to table, would not collude again. And that's going to be harsh. That's going to be harsh for her business. She's going to have trouble shaking that one off. I got some news for you, Don. Just because you didn't get your secret Russian intel doesn't mean you're the good guy here. You never heard the pervs on To Catch a Predator say, wait, what's with the cops? I brought wine coolers. What a waste of 20 minutes. What? Why are you... Wait, what? Why? Where am I going? What's, what's happening? But Don Jr. did learn an important lesson from all this. In retrospect, I probably would have done things a little differently. I know more now, but hindsight's always 2020. He's right. Hindsight is 2020. And I think a lot of voters will be using hindsight in 2020. <laughs> Meanwhile, of course, of course, the White House is defending Don Jr. One official said he just wants to hunt, fish, and run his family's real estate business. Yes, why did we force him to get into politics? You know he'd rather be in the forest pursuing his first love, brawny man cosplay. <laughs> another, another... Oh. Another anonymous source said, the kid is an honest kid. Okay, pump the brakes a little bit here. This kid is a 39-year-old man. And I gotta say, it's never a good sign when the person sticking up for you wants to remain anonymous. Don Jr. is a good person. Wait, you're not gonna use my name, right? Even Bill O'Reilly rose from the non-spin crypt tweeting, it was smart to release the emails. Tabloid guy set him up with a Russian lawyer who promised Hillary Dirt. She didn't deliver. Leave it to Bill O'Reilly to find a way to blame the only woman in this story. <laughs> the president... Yeah. Oh! Yeah. She's a collude. Come on, yeah. collude. Come on, collude. Clearly, she's a collude tease. Now, <laughs> the president has been noticeably quiet through all of this, in part because his schedule is unusually light, and he's been watching TV and venting about the investigation. <laughs> light? Trump has spent half his presidency golfing. How much lighter can his schedule get? <laughs> Sir, you have to get up. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> but, but, the president denies there's any trouble, tweeting this morning, the White House is functioning perfectly, focused on health care, tax cuts slash reform, and many other things. I have very little time for watching TV. <laughs> I gotta say, it's not exactly comforting when the person in charge starts randomly assuring you that everything's just fine. Uh, this is your captain speaking. The plane is functioning perfectly. We are focused on flying, landing, and many other things. I have very little time for watching TV.